the start of our operation here in the Owens Valley. We've got one little dam in so that we can set our pumps on it and start the next aqua dam. We're putting out an eight foot high by 50 foot long double closed end to dam. We only got two pumps running on this aqua dam. The little dam we started with. We started with a little four foot by 20 foot long up here. You can't quite see it. Then we put an eight foot by 50 foot long with a collar on both ends here. Then we are adding an eight foot by 150 foot here. We're supposed to go right down the middle of the river. Eight foot high by 156 feet long is uh, in and it's just got to be pumped up now. We've got another 125 foot long eight footer hooked in. It's about half pumped up. Oh, well, we got another 100 footer in. Now all the flow's going around this side. We got the river dammed off on the right hand side. All the flow's on the left hand side. You can see the little dam across the stream. Right there. That's that little five foot by 50 foot long dam we just put in. The entire current's over here. This side's been blocked off. It's dead water. We got to put in the bottom one tomorrow. We have one section left to go and eight foot by 100 feet here on the end of this dam. Now they're cutting off the, uh, uh, the tie strings and uh, pickup ropes uh, or slings so they can take the wrap off the aqua dam. Uh, the wrap is to protect the aqua dam and shipping. Well, the last aqua dam is in. It's in a L shape, comes off this one down and makes a turn over to the bank. Simply turn the aqua dam. Of course, this, this uh, lift all has got a rope going to here. That's to keep the, the aqua dam from moving that way as we're installing it. To make the turn here, we had to reduce the head inside the aqua dam so it's as high as the river water here is. And as soon as we do that, then this current over here is higher than this water here, and the dam wants to move that way. We put the rope on it to counter that, and it worked great. We're right dead in the middle of the river, right where we're supposed to be. We got the end aqua dam in place, filled up. It's time to start dewatering. Well, here we are back at uh, Highway 395 in the Owens River. 
in Eastern California. We're gonna switch the flow from this side over to this side. They've gotten all their work done on this side, which was doing this uh, concrete work. They had 700 feet of dam out to isolate this side and they let, uh, turned off the dewatering pumps and uh, so it's filled back in with water. And now we're gonna change the flow from this side to this side. First thing we're gonna do is, is remove this uh, aqua dam on the end so that we can uh, uh, actually uh, let the flow go out right through here. So uh, we're gonna twist this back up and let the water drain out. Now we've opened up this side so when all the water comes around, it'll hit this right here, push it around, and then we're gonna block off the other side. Now we're up here at the start of uh, the coffer dam. We're gonna take out these top two dams and this fill material. We cut one of the ropes, all the water's coming out. Because this dam was right at the very end, uh, we had to use a rope so it wouldn't fall off the end. Now that end is right here. Pushing all the tulies out. Now this one here is almost drained out. We're going to remove it next. We simply pulled the end of the aqua dam off and now it's discharging. Gotta let all the water drain out so you just can't lift it up too fast. Now we've opened up this, we started the flows down through here. Looking good. Water going down on both sides of the aqua dam now. We're refilling all the aqua dams before we put the, uh, change the flow. We're putting this uh, fill tube to bed. Now the fill tubes are sticking straight up. That's how we like them. That way the water can't drain out. We're filling up all the aqua dams. We've got uh, one more to go. There we are, the aqua dams in. We've uh, changed the flow of the river from this side over to this side. And we did it one day. 
There, we got a lot of fill on both sides of this dam. It's the crucial one and the hardest to seal where it marries up to the second dam. But nothing like fill material. This, uh, all this is on uh, uh, the work area, so this uh, water is uh, trapped in there now and needs to be taken out with a pump. The whole flow is flowing around the outside. So we only had to flip this uh, dam that was uh, crossed here and we flipped it over to this side and did the same on the bottom and thus has, uh, now the river is going to the opposite side from where it was yesterday. This is the new concrete work that the job called for. And now they're gonna do the same to this bank. Uh, they have a basically 500 feet on each side of the river to do as far as work on the bank. Basically concreting the, the bank uh, instead of using riprap or something along that line, which is big rocks. This is the downstream end of the coffer dam. This dam here used to go over to this bank and we lifted it up and now it's going over to this bank. Unfortunately, it is upside down here, but it really doesn't matter. The aqua dam won't know that. It won't be quite as high, but it'll still do a great job for these gentlemen. 